head. And oops, let me share my screen. Okay, oops, I'll come back to that. There we are. Okay, let's get moving here so we can get through all our goodies. And I just wanna say good morning. I hope you all had a very happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> for some reason, I kept calling it Thanksgiving and I guess I was just thankful for Valentine's Day. I don't know, but I uh, hope you all felt the love and uh, let's get moving here. Thank you to our affiliates. I do wanna say thank you to all of you. we're on twice? Watched. Yep, you're in there twice. Here, let me uh, mute you here. There you go. There you go. Um, anyway, there. Okay, so I do wanna thank you for those of you who are writing in legendary escrow, Orange Coast title on your contracts. I want you to know it does make a difference to the company. And so thank you for that. It, it matters. Um, and and uh, if you have any questions or comments or, or um, any suggestions, let me, let me certainly know. Um, I am always here for you. I do want to share this quick video with uh, Prosperity Mortgage and well, how come that, there we go. It's windy, so bear with me here. Okay, so let me just play this quick vi two minute video. As you know, on February 2nd, we had the rollout of part one. Tomorrow at noon is gonna be part two and it's all on appraisals. So you certainly don't wanna miss it. So let me just play this real quick. Why isn't that playing? Hang on. Oops. All right, well, you know what? I'm gonna go in this way, I think. And hit. Uh, um, is it, where's the other one? Here it is, Hendrickson. And is that this one? Yes, it's this one. We're gonna hear it this way. Tyler Johnson with Prosperity Home Lawyers. I hope you're having an amazing start to your week. Last week's interest rate environment was crazy. We saw a significant spike in the week over week average for 30 year fixed rate loans. And remember, it's not a matter of if interest rates are going to continue rising, it's a matter of when. If you took part in our webinar series two weeks ago, though, don't forget that we've got you covered. Our buyer advantage is the most robust pre-approval process around, we're gonna have a credit underwriter actually underwrite your customer, issue a commitment letter before they find a property address. By going through the buyer advantage process, don't forget that your customers are now able to actually lock in an interest rate for up to 90 days before they find a property address. In our environment, it's the best option you can offer your customers. And remember, it's only available at Prosperity Home Mortgage. Don't forget, this Wednesday is part two of that same webinar series about how Prosperity Home Mortgage is going to work harder for you, help you sell more homes than any other lender around. And our special guest is Brian Coleman, our chief appraiser. We're going to talk about everything you need to know when it comes to what's going to happen with the market, what is going to happen with values, how can you best prepare your home as a listing agent understanding that we're in a volatile market. Coming into the spring market, appraisals are always top of mind because they take too long. The process isn't designed for customers. We have solutions to all of those questions that you're going to ask. We can't wait to see you on Wednesday and also talk about some of the relief that we're going to be giving. Just last week, Fannie Mae announced that desktop appraisals are going to come back and be available. What does that mean to you? What does it mean to your customers? Join us this Wednesday. Find out. Can't wait to see you then. Have a fantastic week. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we can move right along here. Um, and so the link I'll be emailing out this handout uh, later today, 
Um, but the link to join is right here. We are going to be having it here in the office at noon, so it will be playing. If you can join us live, that it's always better when we can do it live because um, you get your questions answered. You know, we can we can talk about it and things that things may come up that you're not thinking about if you're by yourself. So um, moving right along here, congratulations to our listing agents over the last week, Alonzo, Donna. Maria Villagrana, Donna Ambrose again, and Debbie Bellman. Um, congratulations to you. Our goal is 39, so we need to rock and roll the last two weeks of this month. What are you doing to get listings? And so um, we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. Um, in escrow, wow, we had a really busy week. Congratulations since, um, since last Tuesday, we have Gary, Mark's Real Estate Group, Ann Stark, Kagan and Farrell, Mark's Real Estate Group again, Maria Villagrana, Angie Torres, Yvonne Lazarado, Stephanie, um, oh, Kagan and Farrell again, uh, Pam Potolivo, Josie Lerma, Kana, and Mark Lingenwalter. So congratulations to you all. Job well done. Let's get them closed quietly. <laughs> uh, our goal is 40. Hi, Mag. Uh, our goal is 40. We are just about halfway there, halfway through the month. So let's keep hitting it hard and, and break through those goals. Um, one thing I wanted to let you guys know, because I don't know if you've already done this or not. If you have, wonderful. If you haven't, you definitely want to do this. But see this phone number right here? Put it in under agent icon in your cell phone. You want to save this contact. It's boomerang email and text. Again, I will forward out this handout later so um, you'll have it all the time, but just put it into your phone now because with Agent Icon, you're gonna be able to take your phone. You get your, you get your uh, listing or you wanna promote a property or whatever it is, you're going to take a picture of it and then you're, right from your phone, you're just gonna text the picture to that number. And they're going to, within a matter of minutes, put together all your templates branded to you that say coming soon, just listed, open house, in escrow, all the stuff that you're going to need and you'll be able to just grab it and share it on social media. So it's super cool, but you wanna make sure what you're doing on Agent Icon, get it onto your cell phone so it's super easy no matter where you are. Take a picture within a minute, bam, it's done for you. So that's really a cool thing. Um, and then the fun thing will be coming up on the awards February 23rd. There's going to be an email announcing the awards templates on Agent Icon. So that'll be a lot of fun for um, the agents getting the awards. And then for you, you want to just be able to promote pictures and, you know, it's just a good celebration fun thing. Okay, um, VAC, and, and, I, and I, I would love your feedback on this. Um, you know, as you know, Mark Stark is investing a, a huge amount of money every month. Um, I, I, I'm told it's over a thousand dollars a month per agent for these systems. Mm -hmm. And um, we were looking at it because we can see reports of how many agents are actually utilizing it. And sadly, only half of our office agents here in Indian Wells are, are using the VAC 2.0. So I guess my question is, is I would love your feedback if you're not using it. I would love your feedback as to why. Is it, I know it's a very overwhelming. There's so much to learn. Um, and if that's the case, please call me, call Imelda. Um, we will sit with you, take you hand by hand or take you by the hand and take you step by step. Chris Weeder, I know some, sometimes, um, you know, I've heard, well, he goes a little fast. Okay, well, let's set up a time where we can just sit down and take these um, pieces bit by bit, because there is a lot to learn. What I want you to remember, though, is you don't have to learn it all in one sitting. Um, just take maybe two or three things and master those, and then take a couple other things and master those. But the truth of the matter is, it is a lead generating system. And, and some I've heard a couple agents say, well, I haven't gotten any leads from it. If I were to look at that, are you actively working it? is going to be my question. More than just, I set it up on neighborhood reports and now I'm sitting here waiting. What are you doing with those? There's a way to follow up with those people. There's a way to actually work and build. And so um, if you are using it and you find some glitches or some stuff, this is a very fluid program. We meet with the developer, all the managers meet with the developer of the VAC 
every single month, once a month, and we can put in ideas. So if there's something that's not working, email me that too, and let me know your feedback because you know, what I, what I hate to see is spending a lot of money on systems that aren't being used. And so we want to make sure that they're used and that you're getting your best bang for the buck and you're getting leads. That's the bottom line. So let's make it happen for you. I really, I really want to help you with that. So a couple of things I'm going to show you because I, some of you may know and use it, but I think some of you may not. And so this is a listing alert, similar to the MLS, you know, when a listing hits the market, and we are waiting for these. We, we all have buyers, right, in the pipeline, just waiting for that property because the limited inventory, we, we can't find the right home. So am I, can you see through me? Okay, I feel bad <laughs> like trying to move over here. Okay, so I'm going to go right into here. I wanna go into the VAC real quick. And then um, to, to create a listing alert, and let's say you have a buyer that's looking in Indian Wells, let's, let's just say Indian Wells Country Club. From the VAC, this is the homepage, we're going to go to marketing, and we're going to click on listing alerts. And on listing alerts, I'm just going to click on new. And you could name it anything, it's just for you, listing alerts. I'm going to go to criteria. Now let's say you have a property that's not in a subdivision. You can also go right here and do a polygon on the map. So wherever you want to search, you can do it by map or you can come down here and I'm going to click active. We want to see all the new actives. We want to select the property type because we don't want to pull up rentals too if they're not looking for a rental. If they are looking for a rental, just select rental. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and subdivision. All right, we can do area 325 is Indian Wells. They're the same numbers as on the MLS. So if you're thinking, how did you know that? I just pull it up on the MLS all the time. So if you're not sure, look on the MLS and see, or you can start typing the city and it'll pop up too. And then subdivision, Indian Wells, country club, oops. Indian Wells, let's go here, Indian Wells CC. And let's go up here and see, are there any? Yeah, there's eight homes. Whoop, whoop. So I'm gonna click on okay. For contact, you can put yourself as a contact. You'll put obviously your buyer who you'll put into your VAC as a contact. Um, I have a, a, oops. I have a contact called neighbor. Um, if I want to, I can put the name Indian Wells Country Club, um, if I want to copy me on the report, I can. Right here, the email frequency. Let's say you have a client who is ready to buy right this second, just as soon as the property comes up, you're going to want to give that buyer immediately. Anytime a listing hits, it's going to immediately notify your buyer, right? But maybe you have a buyer who, eh, I'm really busy. Don't, don't flood me. Once a day, I'll look. Or once a week, I'll look. Or once a month, I'll look. Maybe they're a few months out. You can set the time, how, many, how often they're going to get an email, okay? So um, email frequency, I'm going to say immediately. And then you can change your subject line. This is the email subject line they're going to see. And you might want to say listing alert of Indian Wells Country Club or whatever the development area you're looking at. So when they see that email, they're more likely to look at it than them thinking it might just be junk. So I'm gonna hit preview so we can see it. So you saw what I did is I just went in, I selected the criteria and here's the homes, Indian Wells Country Club that are currently listed for sale in our neighborhood here. And the thing I like about it, why do I like this better than the MLS? Let me tell you a couple of reasons why. Number one, I am interested is always a good thing. <laughs> Number two, they can click schedule a tour they can see the virtual tour, but let me let me just click here on the property. So if I if I think, well, this, oh, well, that's not a good example, is it? That's no. How do I get back? There we go. Um, where do I click? I schedule a tour. Let me go here. There we go. Here it is. So close that. All right, so if I click on it, I can go in, I can see all the pictures. 
right? I think that's really cool. And you're thinking, yeah, but they can do that on the MLS too. Okay, fine. Let's scroll down a little bit. <clears throat> they only have um, your contact information. They can schedule a showing right here pretty easily. Um, down here is the, the, all the details. Here's the mortgage calculator. Not that they would need it for this particular you know, price point, but here it is. Here's what I like to map view demographics. So if somebody, I, I got to tell you, I get so many phone calls and I know you do too, from clients that say, yeah, I want to buy a property in Palm Springs. And then we ask, well, do you want to live in Palm Springs proper or maybe one of the surrounding areas? Well, we don't know. What's the difference? Because in their mind, this is Palm Springs, right? So it's good to be able to pull up different areas and let them see the demographics, let them see, you know, what these cities are about, you know, the demographics of it. And then they tell us, here's where I think I really want to live. So that's kind of a cool thing that you don't get on the MLS. Many times schools are an issue. We'll get people in that say, hey, I've got a couple of kids and schools matter to me. They can go in here and see what schools are in the neighborhood, right? In this, in this thing, what the enrollment is, et cetera, all the, all the information that they're gonna need to make a decision. So these are really cool tools that you can use and this is listing alerts. So if you've not sent your buyer up on a listing alert, you may wanna, you may wanna think about doing that. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is buy side. And let me, and this is when you're working two things, the what's your home worth and, and I'm not seeing too many of these and maybe I'm just not seeing it because Facebook um, for some reason is only showing me sponsored ads anymore <laughs> and I'm missing out on a lot of my friend's stuff. It's a, it's a little frustrating, um, but let me, let me click here. I want you guys to see this. <laughs> okay, how nice. Can I just play my thing that I want to play? Okay, then I'm going to go back here and play it from here. Here it is, okay. What did I have when I made yeah. my first million dollars as a coach? That I have a massive social media following, that I have a best-selling book, that I have a hit pot. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that agent commissions come from closing transactions. But one thing that's a bit less obvious is that you can't close transactions unless you have listings. Amen to and that. Winning listings can be challenging. That's why BuySide created the Buyer's Market Analysis Tool. When a listing opportunity comes your way, you need to be able to knock it out of the park. You could go into the presentation with the same pitch that every other agent has presented, or you could go in armed with BuySide's secret weapon, the Buyer's Market Analysis Tool. The BMA tool will create an in-depth report that supplements your comparative market analysis and goes far beyond showing comparable home sales. It begins by laying out real-time valuations and then shows a heat map around their area, showcasing the intensity of online activity based on what buyers are searching for. But of course, we save the best for last. At the bottom, you will see a funnel displaying online activity in the last nine It's my days, favorite page. More and more specific until it shows how many buyers are looking for a home just like theirs in their area and in their price range. On top of the report, you can show them real life. Yeah, buyers that's because nobody's putting their buyers in. With the click of a button, enter the location of the property and further refine as needed. All of your buyers will appear here. You can drill down into a buyer profile and show them a four star buyer. They're ready to move within 60 days. They're pre qualified and you can contact their agent right now. 
This groundbreaking tool will really set you apart from your competition at your next listing presentation and help you win more listings. With BuySide, agents have the tools they need to truly stand out from the competition. BuySide is available to all Berkshire Hathaway Home Services agents. Log into your virtual agent center and get into BuySide today to capture more seller leads, to win more listings, and to close more sides. Yes. So buy side is awesome um, if it's being used. And so um, oh, let me come back here. So one of the things, one of the, one of the ways. Show 539. Nine. <laughs> this is the show. Quiet you. Okay. So in buy side, one of the ways to generate potential listings is to share your what's your home worth. Um, tool, right? And every, and please, if you guys are talking to anybody, only promote your website. If somebody, if you're working with a buyer and they're saying, yeah, I'm, I'm looking on Zillow or they're sending you listings from, you know, Redfin or other, other sites, get them off of those sites as soon as possible. Say, do me a favor. Here's the link to my website. Use that to search because we can communicate back and forth. They can, they can save listings that they like. You can see that. You can also take those listings and say, oh, if you like that style, you might like this house too. So it really helps you work together, number one. Um, but number two, it, it's, it's accurate information because it's pulling directly from the MLS where some of these other sites may not be pulling from the MLS. They pull from the tax roll. So sometimes they get outdated information, but let's go in here. I'm going to go back to buy side here. And I'm going to click on the marketing suite. And if I go up here to marketing and I go to marketing suite, the what's your home worth tool is there. You, this is on all of your websites already. So that's another great reason to be promoting your website everywhere you, you know, everywhere you go. But if you click right here, see share on social media. And then we're going to go here to Facebook. <clears throat> Here's the what's your home worth and you can, you can say whatever it is you want to say, you know, curious about how much equity you have in your home. Compliments, you know, my compliments, have fun. Go ahead, do it, whatever you want to say. And then you're going to click on post to Facebook. What I do think would be a cool thing is if you boosted it, right? Because now you become one of those sponsored ads that are flooding Facebook, but you're, you're out there. People are seeing your name. People are seeing this. And those people that click on it, if you know, when they fill out the form and say, I want the value of my home, you're now going to get a text alert that says, hey, Gina Teglin has checked the value of her home, reach out to her and good luck. And now you can pick up the phone and say, you know, I just wanna introduce myself. I see you're looking, what questions are you thinking of selling anytime soon? If they say, no, it's still, I'm thinking about it, maybe six to, months to a year. Great, no problem. I can keep you updated on what's going on in the neighborhood. You get them into the CRM, which they're already in now because they signed, you know, they filled out that form and you can assign a neighborhood report to them. And all our systems are working together to help generate those leads for you. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. And I know I've only got a few more minutes, so I'm going to hurry up through the next. Um, but the next thing is entering your client into um, your buyer into buy side. So you saw in the video, it's really cool when you see how many buyers that are looking for a property just like theirs when you're sitting at a listing appointment. So this is how we as a team, as, as, um, as a group of, of agents can do two things to help each other. Number one, when you put your buyer in and you click on, and when you click on add buyer here, this is where you're going to go in and add your buyer pipeline. And you can see, you can put wherever there's stars, that's the required stuff. But if there's no stars, you don't have to put anything in there. Um, and you don't have to put their name. You can see there's no star here. But, you know, you do want to add alert me when a listing hits, if nothing else. But Or you can put, nobody. nobody's going to really see this. This is your, your database, so to speak. 
But when somebody is searching and they see how many buyers are looking for a home like theirs, it'll show up as buyer number 205659, right? Um, but when they get the coming soon listing, you're going to get notified of it. If I were to go in here, let me come back up here to my buyers. And I have my buyer right here. You can see all the potential listings that are available for this buyer. So it lets you keep finding, you know, keep a lookout for properties that may match your buyer. So um, it works at listing appointments. It works at helping your buyer find a home quicker. So I really encourage you to go in there and get your um, buyers into buy side. Start sharing the report and um, or the the what's your home worth uh, link and and see if we can get some of your lead generation kicked up a, a notch, okay? And then schedule some time with me. I've got you know I've got a lot of ideas that we can play with that will help you get even more leads than you're probably currently getting. Okay, so moving along here, Mason is here every Tuesday and Thursday. He's in meetings right now, but if you want to set some time with them, you know, contact Mason and um, get your marketing up and running. Maria, did you want to say hello to everybody? Here, just hold that. Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> did you want to say anything or you're okay right now? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, Melda? Good morning, everybody. Um, just following up with a few agents. If you guys haven't been set up on your printers or if you're having questions about the VAC, uh, reach out to me via email or you can call me. I'm actually going through a list of some of our new hires as well. But if you need assistance with anything, I'm here. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Okay, there we go. And then um, don't forget Mark Stark, 1.30. He's got some, um, he's, this is episode three today on success for 2020. I do encourage you to log in and see that. Um, a lot of people have said, I don't know when the trainings are for the VAC. If you click on calendar on the VAC, you'll see what's coming up here. Um, uh, mobility, RE, et cetera, et cetera, your website. Um, maintaining your listing. So here's all kinds of classes and all you do is just click on them and um, the link for the Google Meets is right there. Um, this coming Thursday, I've got like two more minutes here. This coming Thursday at 10 o'clock, I am going to be doing a listing workshop. And the, the um, title is, are you ready for a listing? Um, what do you do when your phone rings? Do you have everything ready to go? Do you have your, you know, um, do you know the steps to take? Do you have your materials ready? Do you have your pre-listing packet ready? Do you know what you're going to say when you get there, right? So we're going to cover all of these this Thursday, 10 to noon here in the office. And so I encourage, um, if you're not ready to go, if I were to call you today and say, can you come in an hour to a listing appointment? If your answer is no, <laughs> You need to be here Thursday, okay? If your answer is yes or no, I have other appointments, I'll be there at four. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Go get two listings today. Um, and so then on Monday, February 28th, Chris Weeder is going to be here. I understand he's almost full. Um, oh, he's completely booked now. But here he's got, um, if you notice right here, and I'll, you'll get the handout, you can click there for a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute video chat with Chris. And that's for anything you need. You have questions, you're frustrated, you can't get something to work, get on the phone with Chris and, and that's where you click to do it. For your Apex training, don't forget that if you go through this training, you get one more year compliments of Mark Stark. So um, if you haven't already done your Apex training, I'm sending you the link so it's at your fingertips. You don't have to look for it. Um, and then finally, don't forget March 8th, um, we have a good group. We've got about 60 agents coming from this office. I'm super, super excited. Um, we have room for more. So if you've not RSVP'd, here's the link to RSVP. See how easy I'm trying to make it for you guys. You just go through the handout and click away. But um, if you've not already made your RSVP, there's the link to do it. And so you'll want to definitely join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. 
Um, and then of course, I'm always available to you. If you want more than just a few minutes and want to schedule, you know, 30 minutes, click on the link and I'm happy to, um, I'm happy to schedule some time with you. So uh, we are right at actually 10 o'clock. I'm going to exit out of here. Do we have any plugs or wants? Gina, are you going to record the, um, the listing presentation on February 17th? Um, I'll, let me get back to you on that. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. A any other questions, plugs, or wants? Okay. Well, then. Um, Gina, I have a question on um, the listing thing for tomorrow. Will we be able to Zoom in or do we have to be in the office? Um, tomorrow is the Prosperity Mortgage webinar. Oh. And and then Thursday is the listing class. And I will get back to you. I'm not sure if I'm going to record it yet or not. Um, so I'll let you know by tomorrow. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, any other plugs or wants? Then I'm going to thank you guys. I'm going to start right now. I'm hoping this works. I'm going to share my screen and put on the Global Open House. If you've not seen the Global Open House, they're phenomenal. They usually do showcase three or four homes around the world, but these are not homes. These are unbelievable mansions. These are properties. What's super cool is their Berkshire Hathaway that you know now you know you can promote. Somebody's moving to you know another area you can say, hey, I know this really cool place there. So anyway, I'm going to share my screen. Hope you can stay and join it. And uh, thank you. I appreciate every one of you. And um, I'm always here for you. Okay, let me come back here. Oh, wait, I better stop recording. And